<coughs> Excuse me. What's going on, YouTubers? Your boy Ray coming at you again. Basement Boy Productions from the fifth flow. Just bringing you a Diedrich Haddon. He's able gospel bass lesson. Pretty sure a lot of bass players got it by now. It's been out for a while, but just in case anybody who's new, you know, know always knew the song but don't know how to play it. Here's your chance. Here's your opportunity. You feel me? So I already prayed from the other lesson I did to a couple, maybe an hour ago. Which was was it? The uh, Our God's Awesome by Charles Jenkins. So with that same spirit and anointing in prayer we're going to do on this lesson. So the song starts in B. And it modulates or goes all the way up to D. That's where the song ends. So the first verse is exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. And that bass line is played the same way. So by the way, that's the scripture. What is that? Now to him. I think it's in Ephesians or something. So it starts on the four exceedingly, which is the E abundantly. Then you do four three two one, which is E E flat C sharp B. All right. So exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Then you go to the five, which is F sharp. You can ask. Then to the E or think, which is the four. Then you stay on it according to E to the power that we're giving you. Alright, and you go to the verse or to the yeah, you go to the to the chorus. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you is the first one. And that is so after you do the walk down, and this is the walk down for the whole song, it's just four three two one. Alright. God is able to do five just what he said six four four three two one all right so i give you notes for b <clears throat> but you had a progression so when you go up if you just remember that progression you will be able to play the whole song without actually knowing all the notes as it pertains to that major scale if you just remember the progression so again the progression is the same exact progression as uh charles jenkins um uh, our God is awesome. It's just different tempo. So God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Now don't give up on God is this. Four, three, two, five, which is F sharp and B. Then you just take it up a half step to G which is the flat six then you go to the six a flat five f sharp four e he's able or you just do the run again and that's the whole song so we're in b Six, six, five, four. He's able. All right. And the thing when they modulate to the next key, the way they modulate is they do the same four, three, two, one, but they do it in the next key that they're going. So we're in B. Alright, so when he say let's go up, you're gonna do that four three two one in F, I mean in C. 
So it would be. That's how they go up by doing that run in the next key or the key that they're going to. The 432 run. 4321 run in the key that they're going to. Alright? And it's a good time if you don't really know numbers to learn your numbers because the notes are going to come. But you may not always know the notes to hit. But if you know the numbers, that's a good way of, you know, enhancing your note memorization because that's that's how I do it or I did a lot I learned every note in the major scale or just the major scale notes and then the more I played in different keys the more I know what note is in that key you know what I mean so that's a good way I would highly recommend that knowing patterns over knowing notes you gotta learn your notes but knowing patterns and learning the numbers as it pertains to the major scale would take you a long way you know what I mean so that's basically it now a little lick that you could do for that song is let's see we in B I show you in B and then if you like it you can incorporate it into the to how you want to use it or in the key that you want to use so here's the lick you know, in in likeness of Sheree Reed, that man is a bee, so Alright, so the lick was Alright, is kind of a chord, so I'm in B. Alright, and I do the lick while I'm on the five to get me to the six alright so is able to do what he said he will do alright and the lick is you go in the key of B you go B flat slide to B then you hit the F sharp then you hit the B is with the F sharp, so it's so. Can you see that? So it's a chord. They all start individually. Then you hit the chord. So B flat to B, slide B flat to B, F sharp. Then hit the B while the F sharp still ringing. Go back to the B flat. Then you just hammer well slide from the F sharp to the A flat then alright so all together it's so So another lick you can do, I just again I'm gonna just stay in B. You could just move these chords up or this, these licks up to the any key that you want to do it, part of the song or whatnot. So another lick that you can do. So the lick is And it sound that would actually sound good in B because you get the open E, and that's when you get on the four. So all that is is six seven one, which is A flat, B flat B. Then you slide from the three to the four, or from E flat to E, open E. It's a thing of it as a chord. Alright, so 
And when you get to the don't give up on God for he's not giving up on you, when you in the uh you do the five, then when you hit this flat six, you get do a diminish diminish uh scale. So Alright, so diminished scale just Alright, and I got a lesson that I, I did on a diminished scale, like what to do on diminished, so you can check that out too. So that's about basically it. You know, again, everybody who's been commenting and subscribing, I really appreciate it. Continue to keep it up because it motivates me and it pushes me and everything. So hopefully this lesson was a success and a help. Hopefully it was. You know what I mean? If not, let me know. If so, let me know. I'm about to go to bed because I got a freaking history test tomorrow. So pray my strength in the Lord. Peace. I'm out.